Welcome to Weird Facts. Today we will explore the delectable world of food and separate fact from fiction when it comes to the connection between what we eat and our health. From ancient food myths to modern day fads, we're here to dish out the truth and nothing but the truth. So put on your aprons, grab your kale smoothies, and let's get started on this journey. Drinking alcohol warms you up. The myth that drinking alcohol warms you up is not entirely true. While alcohol may make you feel warm initially, and it actually causes your body to lose heat faster, this is because alcohol dilates your blood vessels, leading to increased blood flow to the skin surface and decreased flow to the core of your body, where heat is normally retained. As a result, you may feel warm at first, but your body's overall temperature will actually decrease, making you more susceptible to hypothermia in cold environments. Additionally, alcohol also impairs your judgment and decision-making, making it more difficult for you to properly protect yourself from the cold. MSG is bad for you. MSG is a common food ingredient that is used to enhance the flavor of savory dishes. It is a type of salt and is naturally occurring in many foods, including tomatoes, cheese, and mushrooms. While some people may have a sensitivity to MSG and experience symptoms such as headache or sweating after consuming it, these symptoms are typically mild and short-lived. Numerous studies have shown that consumption of MSG in moderate amounts is safe for the general population, including pregnant women and children. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has classified MSG as a safe food ingredient and recognizes it as a flavor enhancer. It is widely used in many foods, including soups, snack foods, and processed meats. In conclusion, the myth that MSG is harmful to health has been widely discredited by scientific evidence, and it is considered safe for consumption in moderate amounts by the FDA. Carrots improve your eyesight. This myth is based on the belief that carrots are rich in vitamin A, which is important for maintaining good eyesight, particularly in low light conditions. Vitamin A helps to form a pigment called rhodopsin in the retina of the eye, which helps you to see in dim light. However, eating carrots alone is not a guaranteed way to improve your eyesight. And it is important to have a balanced diet that includes a variety of foods that are rich in nutrients that support eye health. In addition to vitamin A, other important nutrients for eye health include lutein, zeaxanthin, vitamin C, vitamin E, and zinc. To maintain good eye health, it is also important to get regular eye exams and protect your eyes from injury and excessive UV exposure. Egg yolks are bad for you. Egg yolks contain cholesterol and fat. And for many years, it was believed that eating too many egg yolks could contribute to heart disease. However, more recent research has suggested that moderate consumption of egg yolks is unlikely to have a significant impact on heart health for most people. Egg yolks are also a good source of important nutrients, including vitamins A, D, E, and K, as well as choline, selenium, and lutein. Choline, in particular, is an essential nutrient that is important for brain and nerve function, as well as liver health. If you have high cholesterol or a history of heart disease in your family, it may be a good idea to limit your intake of egg yolks or speak with a healthcare professional to determine the best diet for your specific health needs. However, for most people, including a moderate amount of egg yolks as part of a balanced diet, is unlikely to be harmful and can provide important nutrients. Gluten-free food is healthier. Gluten-free food can be healthier for people who have a gluten intolerance, such as celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, because it allows them to avoid the negative health effects that consuming gluten can have for their specific condition. However, for people who do not have a gluten intolerance, there is no evidence to suggest that a gluten-free diet is inherently healthier than a diet that includes gluten. In fact, some gluten-free products may be less healthy than their gluten-containing counterparts. 
For example, many gluten-free products are made with refined grains, such as white rice flour or cornstarch, which can have a higher glycemic index and lower fiber content than whole wheat or other whole grain flour. Additionally, gluten-free products often contain added sugars, salt, and fat to improve taste and texture. It is important to note that eating a healthy diet is about more than just avoiding gluten. A balanced diet that includes a variety of whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats, can provide the nutrients your body needs to stay healthy, regardless of whether or not it contains gluten. Chocolate causes acne. While some people may find that eating chocolate can trigger acne breakouts, there is no conclusive evidence that chocolate or any other specific food causes acne. Acne is a complex skin condition that can have many different causes, including hormonal imbalances, genetics, and lifestyle factors such as stress and poor diet. Some studies have suggested that a diet high in refined carbohydrates and added sugars may contribute to the development of acne. But this is not specific to chocolate. If you find that eating chocolate or other specific foods seems to trigger acne breakouts, it may be worth keeping a food diary to see if you can identify any patterns. However, it is important to note that acne is a multifactorial condition. Artificial sweeteners cause cancer. The safety of artificial sweeteners has been a topic of ongoing debate and research, and there have been concerns raised about their potential to cause cancer. However, most studies to date have found no clear evidence that artificial sweeteners cause cancer in humans. The United States Food and Drug Administration, if ADA, has approved several artificial sweeteners for use in foods and beverages, including saccharin, aspartame, sucralose, and acesulfame potassium, among others. These sweeteners have been extensively tested for safety and have been deemed safe for consumption by the FDA. Some studies have suggested that high doses of saccharin may increase the risk of bladder cancer in rats, but this has not been found to be true for humans. Additionally, some studies have suggested a possible link between consumption of artificially sweetened beverages and certain types of cancer, such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and multiple myeloma, but these studies have not shown a clear cause and effect relationship. Overall, while concerns about the safety of artificial sweeteners persist, most studies to date have found no clear evidence that they cause cancer in humans when consumed in moderate amounts as part of a balanced diet. Coffee dehydrates you. While coffee is a mild diuretic, meaning that it can increase urine output, it does not typically cause dehydration when consumed in moderation. The diuretic effect of coffee is due to its caffeine content, which can stimulate the kidneys to produce more urine. However, the amount of fluid lost through increased urine output is typically less than the amount of fluid consumed in the coffee. So overall, coffee does not typically cause dehydration. It is important to note, however, that excessive caffeine consumption can have other negative health effects, such as increased heart rate, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping, among other things. Additionally, if you consume a lot of coffee or other caffeinated beverages and do not drink enough water, you may be at increased risk of dehydration. To stay properly hydrated, it is important to drink plenty of fluids throughout the day, including water and other hydrating beverages, and to moderate your consumption of caffeinated beverages such as coffee. Margarine is healthier than butter. Margarine and butter have different nutritional profiles, and whether one is healthier than the other depends on individual health goals and dietary needs. Margarine is typically made from vegetable oils and has a lower saturated fat content than butter. Saturated fat is a type of fat that is associated with an increased risk of heart disease. So, in general, margarine may be a better choice for people looking to reduce their intake of saturated fat. Some types of margarine are also fortified with vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin D and calcium. However, not all margarines are created equal. Some margarines may contain trans fats, which are a type of fat that has been linked to an increased risk of heart disease and may be less healthy than butter. It is important to look for margarines that are free of trans fats and have a lower amount of saturated fat. 
Butter, on the other hand, is a natural product made from cream and has a higher saturated fat content than most margarines. While some studies have suggested that consuming saturated fat may not be as harmful as once thought, most health experts still recommend limiting intake of saturated fat as part of a heart-healthy diet. If you are trying to decide between margarine and butter, it is important to consider your individual health goals and dietary needs. In general, it is recommended to consume both in moderation as part of a balanced diet. Microwaving food destroys its nutrients. Microwaving food does not generally destroy its nutrients any more than any other cooking method. In fact, in some cases, microwaving may actually be a better cooking method for preserving nutrients. Nutrients in food can be lost during cooking due to a variety of factors, including heat, water, and exposure to air. However, the specific cooking method used, including microwaving, can affect the extent of nutrient loss. Studies have found that microwaving can be an effective cooking method for preserving the nutrient content of some foods, such as broccoli and spinach. This is because microwaving these foods for a short period of time can help to minimize nutrient loss due to heat and water exposure. However, other factors, such as the amount of water used and the length of cooking time, can also affect nutrient loss during cooking. Sea salt is healthier than table salt. Sea salt and table salt have similar sodium content per gram, which is the main factor that determines the health effects of salt intake. Both types of salt consist primarily of sodium chloride, but sea salt may also contain other minerals such as magnesium and potassium, depending on the source. While sea salt may contain some additional minerals that table salt does not, the differences in mineral content are generally very small and are unlikely to have a significant impact on overall health. Additionally, any potential health benefits of the additional minerals in sea salt would likely be outweighed by the negative health effects of consuming too much sodium, which can increase blood pressure and the risk of heart disease and stroke. And that's a wrap on our discussion of food myths and legends. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating stories and history behind the food we eat. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. If there are any food myths or legends that you'd like us to explore, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.